Welcome back to a brand new Play More in 24 video. This is the Retro Bear in the Gaming Pantry. Hope you're well. And today we've got a bit of a special Play More in 24 because I won't be giving you the usual um, rubbish. You know, I'll be playing something, just one game this week, uh, or this episode anyway, which is rather unusual, isn't it? It's just the one rather than 12 or t taking an hour and a half of your time. Uh, in response to uh, something a very good friend of mine uh, did uh, just last week, I think it was, Kieran over at Retro Reclaimer. Uh, we'll stick a link below to what he did. And he, he's trying to get a, a bit of interest in this. Um, he, and it's um, trying to get a, a B licence on Gran Turismo. Yes, Gran Turismo on the PlayStation. Because, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you've played this before, if you've never seen it before. It's a racing simulation, arguably at the time. Uh, 1997, I think it was, the most accurate racing simulation there was for a console, and spawned the well-known Gran Turismo series, now it's seven games, I think it is, or seven numbered games, there's plenty of spin-offs or whatever. Uh, I bought this when it came out, uh, and I wasn't very impressed with it, because it's a simulation. I don't like simulations, I like games where I just like to, you know, go around and smash things up and drive around recklessly, but no, you have to drive properly in this. Uh, and as a result, so I mentioned the licenses, the idea is in the game you have to get certain licenses to progress, which means undertaking various skills, such as stopping in time, taking corners properly, which is what we're going to do. Now, like I said, Kieran's done a video, stick it in the link in the description below. Retro Red Steve's also done a response bit, good old Steve. And um, yeah, so he had a go. And I thought, well, rather rather typical to, to have not to, to join in, especially during this particular uh, year of playing more in 24. Uh, I was disappointed now, so I got the Platinum Edition. Uh, I did buy it when it came out, but that copy is long gone. Uh, but anyway, uh, dead easy to find this one, shouldn't cost you a great if you want to take part, and uh, we'll get into it. Now, we're going to be using the old PlayStation 2 for this one, because it's a lot easier to set up than the PlayStation 1, believe it or not. Nice thick manual, which comes with it, and uh, I shall now bend down and put the disc in. Right, so we've had a few technical issues, uh, as always. Uh, PlayStation 2 wouldn't load it, and then when I started the PlayStation 1 up, it's absolutely fine, loaded, no problem at all. And I started playing the first game, and then realised there was uh, some music blasting in the background, which may or may not have been a licensed track, and I'm quite frankly, I'm not prepared to run the gauntlet on that yet again. Um, because we know how sensitive YouTube is to licensed music. If you pick up a Mega Drive track of a popular tune, then it's going to pick up something which I've never heard of before, but it's licensed, likely to be licensed music. Speaking of licensed, this is the license we are going for. You need to obtain one of these in the game to be able to progress and play certain tracks and advance your career as it goes on. So there are three different licenses to go for, and we're playing the B license, which is what Kieran uh, selected and what Steve has played, and as you can see there's different ones, there's two starting and stopping, three cornering, two multiple cornerings, and one actual race round the track itself. You've got a limited time on each one to get through it, um, or if you miss the targets, then you have to uh, do it again. Uh, there's three different gradings, a gold, a silver, and a bronze standard, depending on how you get on. You don't get to choose the cars, they're chosen for you, uh, the track is chosen for you, and your detailed instructions like this. Accelerate away from the starting point and come to a complete halt within the goal area situated a thousand metres away. Uh, you will fail if you ever run the goal area, or if you see the time limits, you've been given a Mazda uh, Crapola, and 36 seconds to do it. You also have the option of manual and automatic transmission, as everybody else has been playing automatic. So will I. I'm going to try and work out what I'm doing here. Slow start. Quick change of the angle. So that's 100 metres in 9 seconds. Next 100 metres in 4 seconds. In 3 seconds, we're getting quicker. Remember, 1000 metres. So around about the 900 one you have to break, if you break too soon you'll miss the target, if you break too late you'll miss the target. Here's 800, I've got 7 seconds left, here's 900, break, break, break. Failed! Ah oh, man, two reasons I failed that, one I pressed the wrong button. Right, start again. <laughs> So got 36 seconds, that was a slow start. Are you revving the bugger all go? Got a better start. He 
Yeah, 100 metres in 8 seconds, a little bit quick. We might just get this one done. 120 kilometres an hour. Nearly halfway. Halfway in 20 seconds. 800. 900. Here comes 900. Break. Oh, I've not crossed the line yet. Oh, seriously? <laughs> right, so... This is going really well. This is Big Game Owl levels of licensing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and have a look at Big Game Owl's channel from COVID times where he uh, had a go himself. And uh, he's still trying to complete this license, I believe. I think we've got a better start this time. Four hundred. Five hundred. Six hundred. She's thrilling in it. There's nine hundred. Yes, we've got it. Thirty five point two three six. Third time of asking. Back of the net. Uh, so that should get me a bronze, I would have thought. Yes, there we go. So now I've done that. Um, I can then move on to the, uh, and actually, oh god, what the? <laughs> oh, good grief, there's no, oh, we'll just go with that, yeah, it's me, we'll call it that, right, session two, so initial acceleration and stopping, so this is the second part of the licence, that was terrible, wasn't it, right, so again, exactly the same thing, uh, but they've given you um, a quicker car. This car is, is the test more powerful than the previous test, so you'll have to start applying your brakes earlier. It's a Mitsubishi GTO, and you get 27 seconds, or a full 9 seconds less. Now, those of you with calculators, should we try and work out what the stopping distance is? Hey, this should be quicker, isn't it? Um, <laughs> stopping distances and whatever, so I don't know. So that's 3 seconds quicker through there. We've just done 100 metres last time. So I think really not long after we hit 900, I'll have to be slamming the old brakes on. 700, 800, 900 brake. Oh, missed that by a mile. Right, OK. So we have to start braking around about the 900 metre mark. Just before. In terms of time, I was there and plenty of it. Come on, 500. Yes! Oh, 26.683. So, a 100 metre braking distance. Wow. So, that should be a bronze on this. Oh, no, silver. Well, there we go. There we go. Nicely done. Yes, that's me. Oh, God. <laughs> it's me. It's me, honestly. Right, so now we're on to the basics of cornering for lesson three. Accelerate about the starting point down the straights, go around the first corner and then go through the finishing gate at the top of the hill in front of you. Try to keep a smooth racing line. You will fail if you leave the track. The test car is a Honda CRX Crapola and you have 30 seconds to do it in. All right. Okie dokie. Now, I need to know where the corner is. I have no idea. There we go. Move out, move out, move out. Go off the track, you're going to fail. I'm going to. Can't remember what the time was in terms of. Can you get in there? 30 seconds. 
Fail, 30 point. Ah, just slightly out. Probably been a bit too cautious going into that corner. Go. Come on. Yeah, sometimes a quick start may just be a bit more appropriate on something like this. Let's try and get a wider line. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Yes, got it. Twenty-nine point eight nine, eight one nine. Whew. Cutting it fine, but a bronze will do. Let's just pretend that's me. <laughs> it is me. Okay, so we can go to session four. So bronze, silver, bronze so far. Now this will give me again a quicker car, exactly the same test as before. Uh, a Nissan Silvia. Try and keep a smoother racing line. You will fail immediately if you leave the track 26 seconds. So I've got four seconds longer, sorry, less to do this than I did the last one. I might, I might. Yes, <laughs> twenty-five nine nine three. Wow, skin of your teeth stuff that one. And a bronze. Even though I did it first time, it was a bronze. Well, yeah, there we go. That was too bad that one. So we're halfway through. Eight of these tests to do all together. Uh, so we've gone to the third basics of cornering uh, session. Then we have two multiple cornerings and then a race round the track. So we away from the starting point, down a straight, around the first corner, and then go through the finishing gate at the top of the hill. You keep, try and keep it smooth racing line. And I've got the Mitsubishi GTO, so this is again a slightly quicker car. One second less than last time to complete it in. You're in the beast. Twenty three, twenty four. Ah, oh, just outside, just outside that one. Thought I got that right. And what the aim of Kieran's idea of this is is to get people to have a go. So if you think you can do a lot better than this, let's face it, you can't do a lot worse, can you? Uh, have a go yourself. Have a take part. Whoa. Kept it going. I don't think I'm going to make it. No, just outside the skin. Yeah, far for second outside that one. Hmm. Try and work this according lock out. I must say, it's been the first time in absolutely ages I've played this. So not a favourite of mine. Oh, they off the track. So, yeah, immediate fail if you go off. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's quite enjoyable really, this. I think we're going to make this one. Yes we are, 24262, that's a nice one. Got that right, I want a silver. There we go. Two bronzes and two silvers so far. 
Oh, sorry, two, sorry, three bronzes and two silvers. So now we go to multiple corners. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. that's going to throw us, isn't it? I suspect the last one's going to get me. She's actually driving around the track, I'm trying to remember everything I've done. So we're back into the uh, Mitsubishi FTO this time. Accelerate from the starting point, go round the S-Bend, maintaining a smooth racing line, and then through the finishing gate. 28 seconds. This is a different part of the track, this one. Looks like this is a right hand, if I remember. Oh, 29, okay. A bit too cautious through that one, I think. Yeah, 28 seconds. I think you could probably fly around that first bend. It's the second one that's going to get you. I do like to accelerate around the old bends. Straight racing line speed, 26, 27, oh, outside again. Mm. I thought I drove that pretty well this time. 28 seconds of target, 26, 27. Yes, we're in. We're in. 27.861. Another bronze. No golds. Um, I think, I know Kieran got a couple of golds. I'm not sure whether um, Steve did or not. I also know that Kieran went back and actually had another go. When he when he, he filmed his stuff, he went back and improved his times. Which, as far as I'm concerned, is cheating. Um, you, you should be able to, you know, put your own times in. This is why I'm doing it, rough and ready. Um, but fair play, we've got a great idea for this one. And we've got a slightly different car, and we've got one second less to do it in. And the old Sylvia again. Go, flat out. 18, 24, 25, 26. Ah, oh, we're outside again. Just, just. What do you do with the start? You've got to get a good start on it. Let's work out where I went wrong on that one. I'm not quite sure. Of course, you know, it's not like throwing yourself at uh, Sega Rally or anything like this is much quicker, but that's a good one. Wow, 26 point, that's a second quicker than I needed to be. That should be a silver. It is. Yeah, I thought that was actually very well driven. There we go. So, we're on to the last one now, which is um, Test for the B Licence, which you get to go around the track and remember everything that's taught you beforehand. Uh, or in my case, forget everything you taught you beforehand and uh, generally flail around. So we're in a Mazda Unos, or Eunuch Roadster. Is that Unos? Eunuch. Eunuch. He was in the Dukes of Asni, one of Eunus. Roscoe Peak Old Train and Eunus. Oh, uh, uh, high, a time attack on the full course of the high speed ring. Uh, start from a station position and complete uh, one lap of the course. You have one minute and 22 seconds. So remember everything it's taught you. <laughs> and see how you get on. And basically this is a car that you haven't driven yet. 
We're just trying to remember. It's a long straight, and then you've got a bend. And then you've got another bend. It's telling you to go this way. That's very helpful. Well, of course it's not, because you haven't actually driven this yet, so you've got absolutely no idea where you're going and what you're doing. Some tire squeals and things. Whoops. Sharp bend coming up. Managed to keep it on the road, yep. Now here's that bend. Should we remember from the last two co last two courses we did, throwing it round there, and a bit of acceleration round here, there we go, nicely done. Fifty four seconds. We've got no idea how close we are to the finish line. Straight coming up with a bend coming in here. Did I need to brake going around there? Probably not. That looks like there's a straight head. Oh, I've gone off the road and failed. Oh, so you got off the road and failed, dear. Right. Okay. Feeling feeling yourself around the corners there, if you pardon the expression. It makes you realise how depth which depth this game has got if it takes you, you know, sort of 20 minutes to do a licence. I'm sure it will be beneficial at the end of the day. 145k is. And of course it's not one of these games that's got road markings on or anything like that. You have to sort of fend for yourself. the brakes over right around the outside. Remember to stay on the track at all times. I think we were 54 seconds here last time, so we're about the same at the moment. So long as we remember to stay on the road, we might be alright this time. Head off in the direction of the grass. One twenty two is the target. One sixteen, where's the end? One nineteen twenty, I've missed the target. It's no. Oh, we're about five seconds out here. Ooh, four seconds out. Hmm. I wonder, do I need to keep braking so much? Let's see how we get on. Could be here sometime, there might be some... Probably the most edited video I've done this one, because it's been full of technical mishaps and stuff. The important thing is to keep accelerating. same as before in terms of time. It's going to be close again. This is the corner that I screwed up last time. I think we're going to be close. It was about 116 here last time. Come on, 18, 19, 20, 21, we've done it. Second attempt, 121, 498, there by half a second. Uh, silver? Yeah, bronze. Ugh. No one likes bronze, but there we go. Congratulations, the B licence has been acquired. Isn't that brilliant? Um, I just wonder if I could see the, the records. Can we see the records? No... Okay, there we go. That's not what I was left at. Let's have a look. Can we see the records? I was hoping we could actually see the um, 
the time there, but anyway. Let's see if it comes up the same time on it. It may not. But yes, there we go, so we achieved the B license, which was brilliant. Uh, and something I'm very, very happy with. Yeah, that wasn't bad, was it, really? There we go, so we can see my time there, 4.37. I think, um, you can see down the bottom right corner, I think Kieran went back and did 4.31, which was a fair effort by himself. A uh, jolly good show. Uh, yes, but there we go. So, not bad at all. So we achieved a B licence. Yeah, I thought it was quite good fun, actually. Just knock that camera out of the way. There we go. So that was Gran Turismo, uh, in response to my good friend Kieran, Retro Reclaim, and Retro Red Steve. We've played Gran Turismo, B licence achieved on the on the, uh, on the old uh, PlayStation 1 there. Fantastic. Don't forget, if you want to have a go, feel free to do so, because uh, Kieran's put an open... Uh, sort of challenge anybody who's got a copy of the game wants to upload a video and have a go again I'll stick those links in the description below uh, that's a bit different for playing more in 24 wasn't it a bit of a challenge uh, thanks very much Steve for watching please leave comments below if you enjoyed that any games that you'd like to see me have a go at as well that would be nice to hear from people have some suggestions um, you haven't got an idea what games I've got but yes um, you know random selections would be nice but it would be quite good to do something like that I'm trying not to do theme episodes um, there is a theme episode I want to do with the old Xbox light gun at some point, because I did say I was going to do that. But, uh, yeah, anything, any ideas you've got, any thoughts, uh, please let me know. It'd be great to hear from you uh, if you're enjoying this series. And don't forget to join in as well. You don't have to put your gameplay on YouTube if you don't want to, but just play more games. This is the year for doing it. Play more in 24. Get behind it. It's great. It's good fun. It's great to see some people joining in. Chris uh, Aguima 005 there in Australia. Joe Gaming Girl, he's done a, a few videos. He keeps uh, hashtagging the play more in 24. Uh, yeah, other people want to go, please do feel free to join in. It's, it's down to you. It's all part of it. Just play more games. Stop talking about them. Let's play more. Speaking of stop talking, I'm stopping. Bye-bye.